Why do we have to be baptized in order to be saved? What if a person doesn't remember if he or she is baptized? When can a lay person perform baptism? Do we rebaptize non-Orthodox when they become Orthodox? Christ is in our midst. My name is Very Reverend Ivan Chandra, and I'd love to make your next visit to an Orthodox Church much more meaningful. The whole life in the Orthodox Church is sacramental, as we discussed it in the previous talk. Baptism and Holy Chrismation are the sacraments of entry into the Church. In Orthodox tradition, baptism is a sacrament in which a believer in Christ, through triple immersion of the body in holy water, with invocation of the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is washed from all sins committed by him or her before baptism. Triple immersion symbolizes death, burial under the water, and new birth, appearing from under the water. Therefore, in baptism, we die for sin and are born again to live in righteousness with hope for eternal salvation in Christ. Baptism, in our Orthodox tradition, is immediately followed by chrismation, which is performed by the priest who anoints the newly baptized Christian with holy chrism. By this anointing, we receive the gifts of the grace of the Holy Spirit that are so much needed for our spiritual growth. Baptism, and this is very good to remember, baptism does not save automatically. After baptism, a person becomes a member of the Church of Christ, takes upon himself or herself the obligation to live in accordance with the Gospel, gets the opportunity to participate in other Church sacraments, through which are given the grace of God, that is, God's help to follow the path of salvation. In general, baptism is performed over an infant or an adult by immersion into holy water. Baptism by pouring or sprinkling with water is allowed only if immersion is not possible. However, according to the canons of the Apostles, and that's the 4th century, a dying person who wishes to enter Christianity can be baptized using even sand if there is no water around. In the Orthodox Church, only bishops and priests administer the sacraments to the faithful. But what if there is no clergy around? If a person is in a hospital and is dying, or maybe has few breaths left, but wants to become a Christian before leaving this temporary life behind and going into the life eternal. Or, let's say, a newborn baby is weak to the point that chances of survival are very slim. What's then? For that reason, when the circumstances can't wait, any Orthodox Christian can baptize the person whose life is in danger. One can pour over the head or sprinkle with holy water the dying person three times while pronouncing these very important words. The servant of God, name, is baptized in the name of the Father, Amen, and the Son, Amen, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Remember these words. They might be handy one day. In case the baptized by a lay person becomes well, and there is time for a priest to come, he does not repeat the baptism itself, if it was done properly, as I described, but continues with chrismation to finish off the process. The Orthodox symbol of faith states that we believe in one baptism. Therefore, there is a general rule by which the Orthodox Church does not rebaptize a Christian who has received baptism in a, let's say, mainline Protestant or the Roman Catholic Church. The criterion is that the baptism was done in the name of the Holy Trinity. So such person has to declare his Orthodox faith, first a convert, let's say, after which he or she is chrismated. Other non-Orthodox are received through full baptism. Those that once were Orthodox, 
left orthodoxy and now are returning back from other denominations are received through confession. The Orthodox Church has a special practice when it's not clear if the person is baptized or not. In such cases, baptism is performed with additional phrase. If not yet baptized, the servant of God is baptized now. Or if not chrismated yet, receive the grace of the Holy Spirit now. This practice is used when, the, when, when there is no reliable information about the baptism and uh, nobody can attest to it, only there is a glimpse of, I might be baptized, then this formula might be used. Equally, such a practice is acceptable if the convert to orthodoxy from the above-mentioned denominations is not sure about his or her baptism or has any doubts. Thanks for staying to the end. If you find this video interesting or useful, please share it with your friends. And, of course, subscribe to this channel. May God bless you and your families. Hope your next visit to an Orthodox Church will be much more meaningful.